Hello devs, today I'll be showing you how to deploy a Node.js backend and a React frontend to Vercel. Even though it's really easy to use with Next.js, it's quite simple as well to use with separate frontend and backend apps. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, we want to create a new folder for our project. And we could just call this Vercel deployment but you can name this whatever you want then we're just going to drag and drop into our IDE and now we have our project we then want to create two folders one will be called client which will hold our react app and we will create another folder called server which will hold our node.js backend we then want to open the terminal. Uh, the shortcut for VS Code to open the terminal is Control J, or you can use whatever terminal you are most comfortable using. Just make sure you are in the projects directory. Now, in the terminal, navigate to the server directory. So we could do that by saying ls, so we could see, and then type change directory server, enter, and now we are in. The server directory. We then want to run the command npm init y to initialize our project. Once that's done, we can also install a few packages such as Express and Nodemon to make it easier for us to work on our project. So we could do npm i express space Nodemon. Hit enter. Then we can create an index.js file for our server. The file must be called index.js in order for Vercel to know which file it should use as the server, at least at the date of this recording. So we could go over to our server file, right click, click new file, call it index.js. Now in our index.js file, we want to set up a simple express server. So we could do const express equals require express const app equals express. We could set up our default route require response, do an arrow function response.send and we could type in server is running then we can listen for it app.listen we're going to use port 5000 and then we're just going to console.log that the server has started on port 5000. And believe it or not, that's most of the code that we're going to be writing for our server. Then to run our app, we can go to our package.json. And right under scripts here, we could add a new script called start colon double quotes and then we could write nodemon index.js. We want to save that. And then go to our terminal. And then just type npm start. And now we know our server is running. We can then open up our web browser. and go to HTTP localhost 5000 and you can see our server is now running. Next we want to start working on our client side so we can open up a new terminal. Uh, for simplicity's sake I'll rename this to client and rename this to server. And then in our client terminal 
we could change directory to our client and then we can run the command npx create react app period to use the current folder click enter once create react app has finished downloading we can then run npm start in our client directory we should then see it in our web browser so now we have our server and our client running while we're in the client folder we can copy and paste our git ignore file into our server file and all the way at the bottom here we could just add in for cell.json as this will be useful for us later on now we're going to work on the backend deployment so what we first want to do is go to github we want to create a new repository and for simplicity's sake I'll call this for cell deployment we could create the repository we could copy this code right here and then go to our server or sorry open up a new directory rename this to root and paste in the code hit enter then we could just refresh our github and we can see we now created our repository now what we could do is commit all our code to github so we could do git add period git commit dash m new project and then git push origin main now if we hit refresh we'll see we pushed all our code next we want to go to Vercel and what you should see is a sign in button with github and what you want to do is you want to sign in with github as that will make the whole process much easier for deploying as you can see I'm already logged in but once you log in you should see something similar to this which is a dashboard just you won't have any projects if you don't see this here you could simply just click on your name and then click on dashboard and it'll take you straight to the dashboard section we could then click on add new and then project right here it should show to connect to github if it does then do so and then we want to find our project that we want to deploy so we'll right I have it right here for cell deployment so you just want to click import and then we can add dash server as this will be our server the reason we are putting server as the project name is because we're going to be deploying two apps one for our back end and one for our front end now with the settings framework preset if you are using any of the listed ones here you could click it if not just click other and for the root directory we want to click server as you can see we have client and server for this first one we're going to use server but we'll come back to it and then deploy the client click continue if you have an environment environment variables you could add them here and then just click deploy now if we click on the preview 
it should take us to our server but as you notice we only see our code we don't see our server is running that is because in our server project we need to add a new file called for cell dot json and this should be on the same level as our index.js. Now in our Vercel.json, I'm just going to copy and paste some code here. And what this does is it's a configuration file for Vercel. This configuration file is written in Vercel's now 2.0 format. And here's what each section does of the configuration file. Version 2 specifies the version of the now configuration file being used. In this case, it's version 2. The builds defines the build configuration for our project. In this example, there is one build defined. It specifies that the source file for the build is index.js, and it should be built using the at for cell node mod node builder which is a builder for Node.js serverless functions. Our routes define the routing configuration for our project. In this example, there is one route defined. It specifies that any request to the root URL should be redirected to the root directory. This is often used in single page applications where the routing is handled client side. Overall, this configuration file is setting up the build and routing configuration for our project when deploying it to Vercel. It indicates that our project is a Node.js application and sets up the appropriate routing for our application's URL. After we add this whole file to our project, we can then do another git add, git commit, and git push to redeploy our project again. So we could do git add, then git commit dash m, added for cell.json, and then git push origin main. And now we could go back to our Vercel, go to server. Go to deployments. Uh, my fault. We actually didn't want to add for cell.json. So we could exit out the git ignore. And then we could try this again by doing git add dot git commit dash m updated and then git push origin main. And then now we'll be able to see our Vercel deployment server is going to be updating. If we click here, click deployments, and you can see now it's building. If we click on this, you can see now we have our backend running. Now it's time to work on the client side. We could then go to our dashboard. Then we want to click add new project. Find our project. Click import. And then we could add the dash client. This is totally optional. You don't have to do that. Same thing with the frameworks. And then this time instead of clicking server, we are going to be choosing client. Click continue. Add any environment variables if you have, then just click deploy. Once it's finished loading, you'll see a preview screen. We could click on that and it'll take us to our front end application. Now we have a full stack app deployed with Node.js and React.js. If you want to use APIs, all you have to do is use the server's URL, which is here. To fetch the data in the clients folder and redeploy is as easy as just making another git commit and Vercel will handle the rest. That's all for today and until next time, thanks for watching.